What's going on YouTube, Taylor Prentice back here with another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the week four drop list for Supreme's spring summer 2023 season, which is set to drop this Thursday, March 17th. And uh, St. Patty's Day is this weekend. So if you guys are celebrating that, have a good time. And also, uh, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, leave your Instagram down below. Cause like, I wanna see what fits you guys are wearing and see what like you guys are doing in life. So yeah, if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, definitely throw your Instagram handle down below. I'm trying to follow some of you guys. And yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, if you could hit that like and subscribe for me, it would help me out a lot. But anyways, getting into these pieces, uh, we've got a lot of fire stuff this week. Starting off here with one of my favorite pieces for the week. Uh, we actually have a set for this, so there is bottoms of these two. But this is the flocked denim trucker jacket. So it has that distressed flocking where uh, it's obviously a red jacket, but it has the hints of blue that come through. I think this is done really well. Uh, it's just a really interesting jacket itself. Then uh, we have the metal plate there in the back, which is another cool detail that you don't see on a lot of pieces. Then we have the leather uh, Supreme tag there as well. So yeah, I just really, really like this piece. Uh, I like both colorways a lot. I think I would go with this brown colorway just because it's probably a little bit easier to wear. The red one is a little bit more standout-ish, but I think both of these are super fire. So yeah, off to a really strong start uh, and then Oh, uh, where are the pants? Uh, I might not have pulled the pants up. Hold on, let me find the pants. Okay, so finally, here's the jeans. Uh, again, just the same colorway. Again, we've got that metal patch or metal plate there on the pocket. So just a cool detail there. Same material and everything. And then we have the same colorways as well. But yeah, I really enjoy both of these pieces, the tops and the bottoms in both the colorways. So yeah, uh, if any of you guys get these pieces, uh, let me know how they look in hand because I think these are going to be some of the sickest pieces of the year so far. Next, we have what is probably going to be one of the most expensive pieces of the year, and it is the Patchwork Leather Cargo Vest. So again, I think this piece is just super sick. I'm not someone who like wears vests at all, but I would definitely rock this piece. I'm not sure how I would style it, but it is a piece that is just like so cool to me that I would have to figure out a way to wear it. And I do believe this is, yeah, this is lambskin leather. So it's real leather. So like I said, it can be very expensive. Uh, and like leather is so expensive because it's hard to find long sheets of leather because it's like from an animal. So it's hard to find perfect patches of leather from an animal that haven't been affected or anything so the fact that it's patchwork i'm not sure if that will make it cheaper because like i said uh the expensiveness comes in to leather when it's got long pieces of leather so it might be a little bit cheaper since it's a patchwork and it is just small pieces of leather but that also means that there's more work going into it in terms of like sewing it together so yeah i still think this piece is gonna be super expensive <laughs> If that was just a roundabout way of me telling you even though there's small pieces of leather i still think this is gonna be very expensive the pockets themselves are like super cool um yeah i'm not sure which colorway i'd go with the white and the black are both really really sick and then these have bottoms as well too which are both really nice too so yeah uh they're knocking it out of the park with these tops and bottoms here at the beginning so yeah these are just called the leather patchwork leather patchwork five pocket jeans so yeah, these are bangers. Again, I'm not sure which colorway I would go with. Um, but yeah, dude, both of these pieces are really, really nice. So moving on, we have the Worldwide Hooded Sweatshirt. So as you guys can see here on the left chest, it just says Supreme Worldwide. And then on the back, we just have like more branding. It says like where they have some distribution at in certain continents. Uh, it says when they're established, says their contact and website information. I think this piece is actually pretty cool. A lot of times I don't really like these pieces, but I just feel like the font and just the layout of the shirt or the hoodie works really well. Uh, so yeah, I, I like this piece. Um, I think the colorways are pretty cool too. And I actually like the more like standout-ish colorways. I really like that orange and I think the blue is nice, but I'd probably wear any of these hoodies. Here we have the world famous micro hoodie. Um, so that is embroidered, I believe. Uh, just a pretty basic hoodie. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't think this is one that I would wear. Or, well, this is one that I would wear. This isn't one that I would go out of my way to buy, I guess is what I was saying. Uh, just expensive for not too much of 
a design so yeah i don't know uh i really like supreme hoodies and if you're just looking to add one to your wardrobe you've never had one before i can't imagine these ones will sell out super quickly so you'll probably be able to get your hands on this one uh so yeah and that one it might even make it to the sale i wouldn't be surprised if we see that in the end of season sale so yeah, that might be a good time for you guys to pick up some hoodies as well, too. Here we have the uh, small box logo stripe sweater, and I think this one's pretty cool. Um, I don't love the purple colorway. I feel like that would be kind of hard to wear, but this like green one is nice. Uh, this pink one is really in your face. But uh, yeah, the, the more neutral ones I think work pretty well. I really like this like tannish one here. Um, it's got raglan sleeves, just very subtle striping with a very subtle branding. Overall, I think this is a pretty nice piece. Here we have the crock patch uh, short sleeve work shirt. So as you guys can see here on the front, we've got some branding there on the left pocket. It's got that old English type of font. And then on the back, we've got this crazy design, which uh, is like a crocodile type of material, I guess is why they're calling it this. And uh, it's just like appliqued on there. I think this looks really sick. I do kind of wish they did it in a color that contrasts with the shirt so it popped out a little bit more uh when i was like looking through the images just of this drop list i didn't even think this had anything on the back of it so i definitely think they could have made this more stand out ish and it's such a cool logo that i feel like it deserved that but that's all just preference or my opinion but i do think this would have looked cool on another piece too i feel like they i don't want to say they wasted like a cool design on a work shirt but like a work shirt is not something that most people wear I think at least like I don't know it's not really something that I wear work shirts aren't so I much rather would have seen this on like a hoodie or something just feel like that was a cool design just not on the silhouette of a garment that I would want next we have the metallic uh, long sleeve top so this is a very interesting material I'm not sure uh, how that's gonna feel on the inside but I think it looks really cool uh, on the left, we just have the small S logo, and this is coming... Oh, is there no S logo on this one? Dude, what? So, yeah, I don't know. I guess the... That's so weird. I guess the gray one is the only one with the embroidered logo. Um, it says, though, embroidered logo here in the description, so... Um, yeah, to be honest, I don't really know about that one, but... I think the gray one is my favorite anyways, so, and I actually really like the S logo there, um, so that's the one I would go with, but yeah, that, I, I'm really lost if, uh, it's only on one of these pieces, that'd be really weird, but I guess we'll see when the actual drop comes out. Next we have the Block Arc short sleeve t-shirt, uh, in a heather gray type of colorway. Uh, it does say that the logo is a Tackle Twill logo that's been appliqued, so that makes the shirt definitely a little bit cooler. Um, with that being said, I do think the logo is kind of hard to read. Like, I'm not really sure what it says, um, but I kind of like it. So, I'm not really sure how I feel about this shirt, to be completely honest. Um, I think there's qualities of it that I like, qualities of it that I don't, and like this green colorway, really don't like it, but like... These two colorways here in the middle I really like, and this black one on the end I really like. So, yeah, I've got a, a lot of different emotions about this shirt. Here we have the crochet edge bell hat, and uh, this is something that I can't see most Supreme wears, or Supreme customers wearing, but uh, I think it looks pretty cool, especially this like white, brown, yellow, Chargers-ish colorway. I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't, I don't really have too much to say. <laughs> Here we have the City Patches 6 panel. I don't really like this one. Um, I feel like they just were like slapping stuff on there for the sake of slapping stuff on there. I get the aesthetic that they were going for and I think I just don't really like that aesthetic but I do think that some people out there will like this so I think my hate towards this piece is kind of personal. So with that being said, uh, overall I really don't think it's that terrible of a piece. I think just I don't like it. And then we have some uh, gradient box logos. These are a new era collab as well. We've got this really cool logo there on the side. Um, don't ask me what number that is because off the top of my head, I cannot tell you. Um, I don't really, I can't, I don't know what C, does C stand for 100? I don't know. Anyways, uh, I think these are pretty cool. I think that logo looks really sick. We've got the world famous text on the back. 
and just I thought the gradients were really cool it's not often that you see like a gradient hat and I thought the colors were really nice the black one's actually my least favorite so you know the colors are pretty cool when the black one is my least favorite here we have the uh, work pants and these ones look crazy on my computer they look like you're almost like looking at a 3d screen with no glasses on or whatever but uh, yeah we've got a bunch of different colorways on these just your typical cotton blend twill pants. Uh, nothing like super special here. I like this cream colorway, uh, but other than that, these are not something that I would really care to add to my wardrobe personally. Next, we have what is super cool. I don't know if you guys played this as a kid. I played this all the time. Um, it's a Tamagotchi, so I like definitely went through a phase where I was on the sucker all the time. And if you don't know what it is, it's like, you get these little characters that like are on the screen and then you just have to like take care of them like like their kids or something you have to like feed them and like take them to the bathroom and stuff i think it's been a long time since i played with one but uh me and my brother were talking about it yesterday at lunch because he definitely had one too so yeah it was fun to see supreme releasing a tamagotchi and um I feel like these will probably sell out pretty quick. I feel like they probably didn't make a ton of them, but if this is something that's sitting there at the end of the season sale, I'll probably get it. It's definitely not something I need, but it's a little cool item that I would enjoy having. Next, we have a uh, tool set, which is a lot more useful, but let's be realistic. I don't use tools. I'm not a handyman, um, but, uh, oh, I was thinking we were gonna have like a breakdown of what tools are actually in there. Let me see. So uh, we've got a, 3.6 volt three level torque adjustable screwdriver with 10 alloy steel s2 steel screwdriver bits a magnetic hammer with a rubber cap an adjustable spanner wrench a needle nose plier and a 10 inch self-locking tape measure with printed logos so actually like i this is a pretty standard toolkit um i'm sure i would use like the tape measure for some stuff you kind of need pliers every once in a while so uh, yeah, I don't know. This is pretty cool. I don't know much about the brand Hoto, so I'm not sure if these are going to be like crazy expensive or not, but I would imagine they will be on the pricier side for your standard set of tools. Next, we have a pocket folding towel. So these are going to be pretty small towels, and uh, it is a set of two. So this is with Imabari. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but yeah, I think these look really cool. Um, going off of Imabari's prices I think they sell two or a set of two towels on their website for like 80 bucks so these are probably gonna be like 80 to 100 dollars if I had to take a guess uh so yeah kind of steep for like towels or whatever but I think they're pretty cool and um I want like more supreme accessories more vape accessories just all that kind of stuff and I can never bring myself to buy it because it's just like if I have the money I want to spend it on clothes and not accessories but I really do like these that is pretty much it um yeah so a lot of cool stuff this week uh there's a lot of stuff that I really want that is just definitely out of my price range so that's a bummer but um yeah I think these pieces are going to be pretty expensive too these flocked pieces not sure how expensive they're going to be but yeah I really like these sets I really like uh this hoodie yeah there's just a lot of really cool stuff this week definitely a solid week in my opinion but anyways thank you guys so much for watching um i dropped a palace video today too so if you guys have any interest in that make sure to go check it out but anyways we will see you next week have a good one